Chapter 8. Apply the Law of Three Theodore Roosevelt wrote, Do what you can with what you have where you are. This is one of the great time management principles of all. Three core tasks that you perform contain most of the value that you contribute to your business or organization. Your ability to accurately identify these three key tasks and then to focus on them most of the time is essential for you to perform at your best. Let me tell you a true story. Three months after her first full-day coaching session with me in San Diego, Cynthia told the group a story. She said, When I came here 90 days ago, you claimed that you would show me how to double my income and my time off within 12 months. This sounded completely unrealistic, but I was willing to give it a try. On the very first day, you asked me to write down a list of everything that I did over the course of a week or a month. I came up with 17 tasks that I was responsible for. My problem was that I was completely overwhelmed with work. I was working 10 to 12 hours per day, six days per week, and not spending enough time with my husband and my two young children. But I didn't see any way out. I had been working for eight years for a fast-growing entrepreneurial company in the high-tech area, but there always seemed to be an overwhelming amount of work to do and never enough time. One thing all day long. She continued with her story. Once I had made this list, you told me to ask this question. If you could only do one thing on this list all day long, which one task would contribute the greatest value to your company? Once I had identified that task, which was quite easy, I put a circle around that number. You then asked, if you could only do one more task on your list of key tasks, what would be the second activity that contributes the very most value to your company? Once I had identified the second most important task, you asked me the same question with regard to the third most important task. You then said something that shocked me at the time. You said that, that fully 90% of the value that you contribute to your company is contained in those three tasks, whatever they are. Everything else you do is either a support task or a complementary task that could probably be delegated, downsized, outsourced, or eliminated. Take immediate action. Cynthia continued with her story. As I looked at the three tasks, I realized that these were the three things that I did that contributed the most value to my company. This was on a Friday. On Monday morning at 10 o'clock, I met with my boss and explained what I had discovered. I said that I needed his help in delegating and outsourcing all my work except those three key tasks. I felt that if I could work on those three tasks exclusively all day long, I could more than double my contribution to the company. Then I told him that if I doubled my contribution, I would like to be paid twice as much. She said my boss was completely silent. He looked at my list of key tasks, looked back up at me, and looked at the list again. He then said... You're right. These are the three most important things that you do in this company and the three things that you do best. I will help you to delegate and outsource all these minor tasks to free you up to work full-time on these three key tasks. And if you double your contribution, I will pay you twice as much. Transform your life. Cynthia concluded her story by saying, He did, and then I did, and then he did. He helped me to delegate and assign all my minor tasks so I could concentrate on my top three jobs. As a result, I doubled my output over the next 30 days, and he doubled my income. I had been working very hard for more than eight years, and I doubled my income in just one month by focusing all my time and energy on my three key tasks. Not only that, but instead of working 10 and 12-hour days, I work from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock and spend time in the evenings and on the weekends with my husband and my children. Focusing on my key tasks has transformed my life. Perhaps the most important word in the world of work is contribution. Your rewards, both financial and emotional, will always be in direct proportion to your results, to the value of your contribution. If you want to increase your rewards, you must focus on increasing the value of what you do. You must dedicate yourself to contributing more results to your company. And three key tasks always contribute the most. The quick list method. Here's an exercise that we use with our coaching clients very early in the process. 
we give them a sheet of paper and then tell them, in 30 seconds, write down your three most important goals in life right now. We have found that when people have only 30 seconds to write down their three most important goals, their answers are as accurate as if they had 30 minutes or three hours. Their subconscious minds seem to go into hyperdrive, and the three most important goals just pop out of their heads and onto the paper, often to the surprise of the people doing the exercise. In 80% or more of cases, people have three goals in common. A financial and career goal, a second, a family uh, or personal relationship goal, and third, a health or fitness goal. And this is as it should be. These are the three most important areas of life. If you give yourself a grade on a scale of 1 to 10 in each of these three areas, you can immediately identify where you're doing well in life and where you need some improvement. Try it yourself and see. Give this exercise to your spouse and your children. The answers can be quite revealing. Later in our coaching program, we expand this exercise by asking the following questions. Number one, what are your three most important business or career goals right now? Number two, what are your three most important family or relationship goals right now? Number three, what are your three most important financial goals right now? Number four, what are your three most important health goals right now? Number five, what are your three most important personal and professional development goals right now? Number six, what are your three most important social and community goals right now? And number seven, what are your three biggest problems or concerns in life right now? When you force yourself to ask and answer each of these questions in 30 seconds or less, you'll be amazed at the answers. Whatever your answers, they will usually be an accurate snapshot of your true situation in life at the moment. These answers will tell you what is really important to you. While you're setting goals and priorities, getting organized, concentrating single-mindedly on one task at a time, and disciplining yourself to complete your most important tasks, you must never forget that your ultimate goal is to live a long, happy, and healthy life. Time management is a means to an end. The main reason to develop time management skills is so that you can complete everything that's really important in your work and free up more and more time to do the things in your personal life that give you the greatest happiness and satisfaction. Fully 85% of your happiness in life will come from happy relationships with other people, especially those closest to you, as well as the members of your family. The critical determinant of the quality of your relationships is the amount of time that you spend face-to-face -face with the people you love and who love you in return. The purpose of time management of eating that frog and getting more done in less time is to enable you to spend more face time with the people you care about, doing the things that give you the greatest amount of joy in life. Rule, it is the quality of time at work that counts and the quantity of time at home that matters. Work all the time you work. To keep your life in balance, you should resolve to work all the time you work. When you go to work, put your head down and work the whole time. Start a little earlier. Stay a little later and work a little harder. Don't waste time. Every minute that you spend in idle chit-chat with co-workers or playing with your email is time taken away from the work that you must accomplish if you want to do well at your job. Even worse, time that you waste at work often has to be taken away from your family. You have to either stay late or take work home and work in the evenings. By not working effectively and efficiently during your workday, you create unnecessary stress and deprive the members of your family of the very best person that you can possibly be. Balance is not optional. One of the most famous sayings of the ancient Greeks is moderation in all things. You need balance between your work and your personal life. You need to set priorities at work and concentrate on your most valuable tasks. At the same time, you must never lose sight of the fact that the reason for working efficiently is so that you can enjoy a higher quality of life at home with your family. Sometimes people come up to me and ask, how do I achieve balance between my work and my home life? I ask them in return, how often does a tightrope walker balance when on the high wire? After a few seconds of thinking, they almost always say, all the time. 
I said, that's the same situation with balance between work and home life. You have to do it all the time. You never reach a point where you have attained it perfectly. You have to work at it. Your goal should be to perform at your very best at work, to get the very most done and enjoy the very highest level of rewards possible for you in your career. Simultaneously, you must always remember to smell the roses along the way. Never lose sight of the real reasons why you work as hard as you do and why you are so determined to accomplish the very most with the time that you invest. The more time you spend face-to-face with the people you love, the happier you will be. Now, here are two exercises for you. Number one, determine the three most important tasks that you do in your work. Ask yourself, if I could only do one thing all day long, which one task would contribute the greatest value to my career? Do this exercise two more times. Once you have developed your big three, concentrate on them single-mindedly all day long. Number two, identify your three most important goals in each area of your life. Organize them by priority. Make plans for their accomplishment and work on your plans every single day. You'll be amazed at what you achieve in the months and years ahead.